Hi friends, you are watching my scale, a basic video tutorial. This is Ravi here. Today I am going to explain about the DCL commands. What is DCL? Data Control Room Deploy. So what is DCL Control? So Data quality Control language is mainly for giving privileges and removing privileges that is if you want to access your database you need a privilege if you want to access some data you need a privilege so that is called we are controlling data we are controlling data using this grant using this grant so grant is a command grant is a command we are using for we are using for giving the privileges privileges to users for accessing database object database database object like tables and other objects other objects as well as data access so there are different grants we can give first example I'm going to create one user. Create user username Ravinda identified by byte. So this is the create user syntax. Then I'm opening a scale class. I'm logging as sysdba user because dba user can create a user. Because of all privileges, DBA privileges. See here. Create user username Ravindra identified by password. Password I'm given. Welcome. So user created. But if you try to log in this user, what will do? That user cannot log in because of that user don't have a login privileges. That is creating a session in database for this new user don't have a privilege see here connect Ravindra that part see it is throwing one error lacks of create session privileges so what we need to do grant privilege name is create session to user Grant, grant, successful. Now you can do the same thing. It's connected. Then, there is one more object called revoke. There is one more object called revoke. So this is we are using for removing privileges. This is we are using for. This is we are using for removing privileges. Removing from user. From user. See, if you are granting privileges, we are granting to user. So that's why we are using to. Grant is a keyword. Then your object, main like what you are going to give that privilege that is create session to particular user then I am removing privileges from particular user so that is we are using revoke revoke the privilege name create session from user that user is revoke succeeded again try to log in this user using Again, see, and again it is throwing error because we granted earlier using grant. Again, we remove the privileges using revoke. Revoke is we are using for removing privileges. Grant we are using for granting privileges. Then, this is related to a DBA part. Same thing because this all data control language is completely DBA part. It's not a developer part. But we should know what is grant, what is revoke. 
this is related to user level so if you are talking about object level that is called dml for example if that one user want to insert data or update data or delete data that user need insert privileges delete update and if the user want to select data need select privileges so that is if you want to give a privileges to a particular object that is insert update or delete that is dml operation so there we will use grant select comma if you are going for multiple privileges update comma insert comma delete so i am giving the three privileges that is select update insert delete on which object the table name is i am giving or emp to user username grant certificate so this user can edit can delete can select data from scott is user there is a table called emp table then same thing for other privileges that is ddl privileges if we are talking about ddl that is create table okay that is alter table create alter these are the privileges that is all ddl so we need to give directly to the user okay like create session grant create table to user grant section same thing for create view there is an object called one more object view like this so if you are talking about a ddl or other privileges directly we need to assign to the user if you are going for select or update or dml privileges so we need to go for object wise that is on we need to use on on and a particular object particular object if that object is available particular schema that schema name we need to give here so this is called grant grant is giving privileges revoke is removing privileges thank you for watching my videos there is one more all privileges grant all privileges to particular user so user will get all privileges except dda privileges except dda privileges so no need to go for again select update create table create view user will get all privileges except dba privileges if you want to dba privileges grab this dba is a role that role we are assigning as new user so grant that role is dba we are assigning to so system user don't have a privileges to assign this this dba role so we need to assign login as a sysdba user so that time only you can access you can give this privilege you can see here connect this as sysdba now you can give grant sysdba to new user granted so why because if you want to grant a dba privilege sysdba privileges we need a dba privilege that's why i'm logging as a dba user then i can grant to other users so now this user also as a dba user so this is the way we can go for granting privileges like object wise and the total user privileges ddl and dml so thank you for watching my videos all the best for your technical features